Hello everyone and welcome to Azam Sharp Weekly. In this video I want to show you that how you can populate a segmented control in Swift UI. Now a segmented control is the same one which means that it will give you a couple of different options. So what we are going to do is we're going to allow user to select different type of coffee cup sizes. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create an enum. I mean, it doesn't really have to be enum, but I think enum is a good choice because you only have certain number of coffee cup sizes, which are small, medium, and large, okay? Now, other thing that we want to do is we want to provide some sort of a custom title for our coffee cup sizes. So for that, I'm gonna go ahead and extend the enum and use coffee size. And then over here, I'm just going to create a new property called var name string. And then I can do a switch on self where self is the enum, which is coffee size. So I will have access to all the different cases like small. If it's small, then we are going to simply return small with a capital S. But over here, you can actually return anything you want. So maybe you're working at Starbucks and small is large. So you can return large over here and then medium, and then return medium, and then finally large, which you can return anything you want, large. Well, over here, there we go. Okay, great. I'm also going to make sure that the values of these enums will be zero, one, and two, simply by providing it the integer. Now we want to go ahead and display it. In order to display it, I should be able to iterate through this coffee size enum, which I can do simply by putting case iterable. This will allow me to iterate through my enum cases. Great. Now if I go over here and create a segmented control, you will see the segmented control takes in the argument of a binding, which means that whenever you select an option from a segmented control, it will go to this particular variable, which we don't have right now, all right? Also, so first of all, we need to create that. Also, we also need to iterate through these with coffee sizes, and we're gonna use a for each loop, which means that whenever you use a for each loop, you will need to use also, you need to make sure that your enum or class or struct is identifiable which means that I need to implement ID. So let's go ahead and do that, UUID, and I can actually just return a new ID. So anytime you are iterating inside the body over here, you need to create a UUID. So now I can create a segmented control. I will pass over here some sort of a binding. Let's call this binding selected coffee size. We don't have that, we will create that later on. And then we'll run a for each loop on coffee size dot all cases. This is what the case iterable is going to provide us that we can actually iterate over all the cases. And then we're gonna get handle of coffee size in, and we can create a text, which can be the name of the cof coffee size, the coffee size dot name, our name property that we created is coming in handy over here. And then a tag. Tag basically means that this is the value that will be posted. So for that, I'm just gonna say coffee size, okay? Now I can go ahead and create a new property, a bindable property, var selected coffee size, which will be of coffee size. And I can also give it some sort of a initial value. Let's go ahead and build that. The other thing that I need to do is, well, first of all, I need a label, I guess. Uh, let's go ahead and add the label. Using this. There we go, let's go ahead and build that. And let's go ahead and resume it. So hopefully, hopefully the UI will actually update and you will be able to see different types of uh, segmented controls with different type of options. Okay, let's see if it works. There is no error or anything, so 
hopefully it will refresh and show us the updated result it's not really working let's go ahead and also make sure that we are doing hashable sometime that is needed actually when you're doing the tag and let's go ahead and click on try all right let's see if it brings us anything here we go and let's go ahead and run this and see if we can actually select different things you'll see that the default one medium is already selected because we initialized it on line number 35 to medium and now we can actually make sure that we will be able to select different options so let's uh, go ahead and see if it works and now we can actually go ahead and select you can see it's working perfectly fine that is great now one thing i also like to mention is that i am working on a surf ui udemy course which will be available in a couple of days and uh, you will learn a lot in that course and it is an under construction course but i will give you two and a half hours of the content uh, and the rest of the content i will upload it as soon as i build out so keep an eye out for that course and i'll uh, distribute the coupons also for that course so that you can get a heavy discount thank you so much